Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick today. Hi, it's Shannon. Shenanigans is in the house. Vinny has taken the day off. Not really. He had to run an errand. It was out of town. So he was like, he had to run an errand out of town and we have to be at the venue for uh, Christmas. Y'all, there's so many titles. You have to let me think. For Christmas crafting in the country this afternoon. So he's got to get back in time for that. So he's skipping the live show today, but that's okay. We're here. You got us. It's so cool. Um, today we have several things we want to do really quick and that is run through the events we have coming up just giving you dates to write down in case you weren't here on tuesday night or didn't catch all that going to answer those questions really quick that you have we're going to do them a little at a time but we also have a winner to announce if you remember we were giving away the chamber basket um it's our the basket we won for the windows when you guys voted for our windows it's that basket we'll be giving away and at the end of the show I need to go, um, I need to show you how to vote for Rustic Relics. There's been some confusion, so I'm going to try to get my iPad or something like that and put it in the screen and show you guys how to vote for the picture for Rustic Relics because I think you guys are trying, but the votes aren't going where they need to go, where they need to go, and we want to make sure that happens. So remind me of that, please. Remind me of that. I do have on that shirt. Which side is it? The Pete shirt. That's the one I have on. Shannon doesn't have that one on today. Oh, no, yeah. I got on 75. She's 75th got on the fifth anniversary shirt. So the one she's got on is the Lions Club shirt, correct? Yeah. So like. It's the Peach Festival yeah, shirt. Yeah, it's the festival shirt where this is the Jubilee shirt. Just don't ask. <laughs> this Just don't one, ask. Yeah. There's so much. There's so much. Um, I'm not given the venue name yet, Miss Tony. Not until tickets go on sale. And. Um, just because we're doing one last thing today in case I have to change uh, venues. But I don't think we do. I think we're fine. But we're doing one last thing today. So we will tell you eventually. There's, I will tell you this. You'll be disappointed there as far as like searching it out. There's not a lot to find. This is the country. And this is a, it's a beautiful at-home venue. But there's not like a website and all that kind of stuff for you guys to go see. But you'll still like it. Okay. What do we want to do first? We want to do the, let's do the dates first. Okay. No, here's what we're going to do. Please, please, please get your calendar out or something to write with. Okay. Hey, and oh, is she here? Yeah. Hey, bud. Um, get your calendar out, something to write with. And while you do that, we're going to draw the winner. That gives you time to get something to write on. Okay. So, Shannon, what we've got, we do this winner through rafflecopter.com. She's just going to click, um, what's it called? Choose winner. Um, yeah. I think it's well, what it's called. I think it says add a random winner. Add a random winner. Add so random she's going to she's going to click a, a button and that's going to add the random winner and she's going to tell you who won. Oh wait. Let me say what you're winning. It's the chamber basket. If you entered, there were lots of entries on that thing. Um, if yes. you entered, you win the chamber basket which has a lot of Chilton County stuff in it and it has a $100 gift card in it, a Visa gift card. So here we go. Here we go. The winner is Deborah Wallace. Deborah Wallace. Now, here's how this works. We will email Deborah Wallace at the email she left us on the Rafflecopter entry. If she does not reply within, how long did I say on that one? Oh, I don't know. It'll be in the little description part. I don't know if you can see. I think we said 48 or 72 hours. 72 hours. If she doesn't respond within 72 hours, um, we will choose another winner. And if we have to do that, we typically just do that behind the scenes until the winner has gotten their prize instead of coming to you every time. We rarely have to do that, but when we do, that's what we do. So congratulations, Deborah, And um, thank you guys so much for voting for us, just like you are for Rustic. And we'll, again, we'll talk about that later. All right, let's talk about some stuff you need on your calendar. Let's start with the soonest to the latest, okay? The first thing you need to put on your calendar is that we are going to be at Decorator's Warehouse on August the 27th we will have two free seminars there one at 10 30 a.m. and one at 11 30 a.m. the way those work is we'll do 45 minutes in that first seminar then 15 minutes we move the classroom in and out we let you guys go in and out of the classroom and then at 11 30 we'll do another 45 minutes we will have a meet and greet time you'll have plenty of time with us it'll be We'll, we plan that day for us to shop and have a good time. We typically get out of there late afternoon, typically. But um, you can shop with us and whatever. But the events are free there. The seminars are free. And our topic this year is adding tremendous texture. 
So we feel like you might have ornaments down pat, you might have ribbon even down pat. We'll talk about ribbon a little bit too. But the big thing is I wanna to talk to you about adding sprays and picks and uh, different texture, things that aren't the things we typically put on a Christmas tree. I wanna show you why and how you do that and kind of give it a decorator style. I love this because I get to um, go to my decorator roots, you know? So it's pretty fun. All right, October 22nd, nope, see, already done it. October 20th through the 22nd is Holly Jolly Opolis. That is our online event. You're gonna be seeing a lot more about that. The tickets go on sale for that Monday. It was Tuesday. Was I think it was Tuesday. 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 You'll you'll see a lot more about that. Um, well, Tuesday night, it'll be our focus of event. We'll let you know all about it, and we'll have tickets ready for you by then. Hopefully. I will say hopefully, because anytime we have a hiccup, we give ourselves these dates, but sometimes there's a hiccup that slows us down. But that's the plan. So October 20th to the 22nd. It is an online event. You can do it from your PJs in your house. You can get the morning session or the afternoon session. You can... Um, you can participate in everything in a bundle price situation and after the bundle sale because we'll put so many bundles up then we'll break out the different classes and you can buy them a la carte if you would like to so that's october 20th through the 22nd be watching for that october 27th through the 29th is our cra christmas crafting in the country a lot of c's crafting in the country we actually want to do crafting in the country seasonally like have a spring one and a fall one or like a spring summer fall winter one and um so this one is Christmas crafting in the country. The next one would be springtime crafting in the crafting in the country or something like that. But this event is, like I said, in person, October 27th through the 29th. I've got some really cool things planned for you guys. We've already secured a um, field trip to Rustic Relics, and yesterday I secured a field trip to So Charming, and So Charming is just that so charming it is a quilt store fabric store etc and i know not everybody's into quilting and fabrics and sewing but i think you would enjoy their story and what they do and who they are and how it relates to crafting so i'd love to get you guys in there and kind of give penny and emily a chance to they'll love that won't they to get to talk yes. to people in public yes <laughs> they'll yes. be like oh yes yay but i'd love for y'all to get to hear their story when you guys come to clanton i want you to learn about us um we also got really good news yesterday here's how i'm going to say it you guys know I've been going to She Shack Ceramics. I do it every time. She Shack she Ceramics. Shack Ceramics. I've been going to She Shack. I'll actually be there tonight painting again. Is I think I will. I think Brendan and I are going tonight. Um, and they are going to participate in our Christmas. That's what I was waiting on to make sure of. They're going to participate in our Crafting in the Country event. And you're going to be so excited. Let me just say this. If you're a student, you will be painting ceramics. The first day, it's so easy and so fun, they will take them with them and fire them and have them ready for you to take home before the event's over with. Are you kidding me? It's awesome. So 54 students will have their items fired and ready to go. I, that, I didn't know that they could do it. She wasn't sure they could do it. They had to find the project that they could get in the kiln, that they could get 54 done in a couple of days. So one of your classes, and I'll say this, Shannon has graciously said that we can use her class time for that because she wants to do it too. <laughs> so she's like, let's make that my class. She will be there and she will be helping. As a matter of fact, the ladies from She Shack are gonna come and help facilitate. So I'm just so excited that all of our locals are gonna be a part of this, including you know restaurants, all that kind of stuff we're working on for you. So that event is, um, those tickets go on sale tomorrow morning. They're supposed to. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. They're, they're ready to go on sale. Today's, today is the final quantity number. We think it's only 54. We may be surprised. We did those numbers from I, so today we'll know for sure how many tickets we can sell, but it looks like 54. But that's, that'll go on sale tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. on our website, and the price is $4.99. People have been asking. It's $4.99. It's in Clayton, Alabama. Tamas is like, give her a spot. All right. The last one you need to put on your calendar, and there may be more in between, I don't know, but it is November 11th and 12th. That is Holiday Open House. We look forward to Holiday Open House every year. We love having you guys in our store. It's one of the few times we get to have the masses here because, you know, it's we can't hold big event like three-day events here in the store, but we can do this kind of event. And Holiday Open House is a free event. We love it. We do it every year. And we'll have three crafts for you. There'll be three make and takes. You come with your buddies, come with your family. Um, this year we're going to make sure we have a kids craft and if I can work it out, 
there'll be another. I don't know that I can. I'll just tell you. I want to do a craft for pets. I want to do like a puppy paw print and a kitty paw print. The problem is we're so crowded that bringing pets in would probably be a problem, would be anxiety for the pets. You know what I'm saying? It would cause anxiety for them. So I would love to be able to do that. We may do that on some other scale, but we're going to have three make and takes, one for kids. So three for adults, one for kids. And because last year we realized our projects were a little harder for the children and um, we're going to be prepped for that. We will have some snacks, some refreshments. Um, we're talking to all the people who are here before to try to get them here. And um, it'll be the 11th and the 12th. And yes, the 11th is Veterans Day, but don't you worry, we're going to do something special for veterans. We did that at the Verbena location. We held it on Veterans Day, and it was so special. We had a little, I don't know if you remember, we had um, the little army men set up, and you could take one, and, and we asked that you pray for veterans, and let that be your reminder to do that. So we're going to we're gonna um, honor them as well. So that was 15 minutes of announcements, and I'm just going to tell y'all, from now till then, for a while, these announcements are going to be in there because we have so much to tell you about and so much going on, and we're so excited. Almost showed y'all. No, I didn't because it's turned down. Okay. So, we got our winner. We did our announcements. One more thing. One more thing. Folio swaps. 97% of the folios have been mailed out. 97%. We have a small issue, and we kind of need your, we really need your help with it, okay? If you bought a ticket for someone else for the folio swap, we had, we thought we had everybody kind of marked, but we ended up with several stacks of folios with people's names we can't put a ticket to. So that just probably means you might have bought spots for three of your friends or two of your friends or something like that. If you did, would you please email Shannon and just say, folio swap name in the subject so she'll know and then let us know who who you are you bought the ticket and then who you bought the ticket for all the names first and last names please because we we made sure we put the names on but we never even thought about the fact that that might have been an issue so when we unloaded everything we just unloaded everything we didn't think anything about it so if you would do that it's very few it's not many honestly 97 percent yeah it's like Handful. We had um, 438 folios and they filled up two and a half tables. All the tables are empty. We just have a section where we have them laid out where we've got to get those sent to their homes. So please let us know. And if you do, do me a favor, email her. Don't do it here because the chat is not something we go back to. So if you could, we would really appreciate that. Um, we're probably going to ask that. I'm going to get Tamith to ask that same question on um, Facebook as well. Kim, you do need to go finish your trees. They're sitting there and I'm looking at them. Um, I don't know that Lisa picked hers up yet or not, but you do. I'm picking up my second um, project tonight and I'm going to start my third project and I'm super excited. Okay. You want to see the new stamp set that didn't make it but then made it because FedEx didn't deliver the first time but then they delivered it the third time after they'd already been here like five other times? Yeah. <laughs> you want to see that one? All right. Shannon's going to switch our camera so you'll see our little faces now. And... Are we all? Oh, there is another thing I need to tell y'all about. The Cards for Kids fundraiser. Yes. The Cards for Kids fundraiser. Let me see if I can get that where y'all can see it. Hang on just a second. I want to make sure I tell you that. This morning, I think it went live yesterday, or was today the warning? I think it went live yesterday. Oh, I don't know if I can get signed in here. Can you find, do you have a way to get it? So, Cards for Kids every year does a fundraiser. This one they're doing is a popcorn fundraiser, right? It's a popcorn yes. fundraiser. Which sounds really cool because everybody likes popcorn, right? Or if you don't, you know someone who does. And you could get you some. And I'm trying to type and talk at the same time. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to say my password out loud in a second. <laughs> I'm not sure that's right because I was talking and typing. Um, it needs a login code and I can't get it right now but um, I'm going to get Shannon to get me that information for you real quick we can talk about it at the end if you want to spend some time getting it and I'll do the stamp since we've already been going 17 minutes so you found the other missing FedEx we did actually the, it came in there were three more boxes this was in it and uh, Taylor said the boxes had exploded and they had put them into another box but here it is. And look, Tamith is like, yes, this is the one that she was waiting on. It was the one that she really wanted. And I think it turned out really cool. Um, all right, you ready for this? I'm going to flip it over. Are you ready? It's called 
O Christmas tree. Now, you guys are going to see a trend this year. We went big. We made big images, big shapes, big sizes. And the reason is we have so many small things in our line already. We wanted some things that were going to be, you know, the focal point, the feature, do all the work for you. So let me show you this, okay? And I don't know why I did this. Popcorn, popcorn shortage, so perfect. Oh, is it a popcorn shortage? Are you serious? I'm reading that. Um, I want to show you this, and I should have um, got a different color card stock, but look, it's a white card base, <laughs> and I cut a Christmas tree out, and it is big. Do you see this? I don't know if you can really see it very well, but it's big. It covers almost the whole front of the card, and that's what I love. I wanted this to be a focal point, a feature, and I didn't want you to have to figure out how to make this scene in the background. You know how sometimes we're like, Oh, if I have this tiny tree, I'm going to have to have a fireplace or a chair or something in the background. This is super easy, okay? Miss Joan, I thought about you because this is so good for scrapbooking. This is the perfect size to do a little gift scene at the bottom of some pictures. It's also great for folios. I think that'll be a great spot for that. But I want to show you what we're, what I'm going to do today is do a bunch of stamping. I want to show you how that kind of lays out. And I also want to tell you this. If you have been considering getting a Joy, a Cricut Joy, or if you have wanted to start using SVGs, this is the set to do it, okay? Because I want you to see this. With our stamp sets, all of our stamp sets come with a free SVG file. And what is an SVG file? It is a file that your electronic cutting machines can read. So what happens is, like this one right here, I can go in and tell it I, want, I need to cut 10 trees or I need to cut five gift bags or I want to cut every one of these packages or whatever, okay? Which, did I cut all the packages? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Um, but you can go in and tell it to do it. And I love this, okay? I love this. So, when you, um, when you decide what you want to do and how many you need to do, you just tell the joy, I need to cut this many. And I'll show you. I told it I wanted to cut two trees. So, basically, I cut this twice. So, I got two trees, two of the gift bags, two of this package, two of this package, da, da, da. And then, I told it I wanted to cut all these other accoutrements. And I just cut um, them twice as well, okay? I think this is perfect for that. Now, I'm going to show you how I stamp, as if y'all don't know, because y'all are all, I'm going to pretend y'all are all new here today. <laughs> they don't know what to do. We'll pretend you're all new and you have no idea how to do any of this stuff. I'm going to have to let that catch up so I can see if I'm in screen or not. How cool is the extension cord? Come on, do I need to go over what's on it? I probably should, right? I didn't you even do that. Screen. Okay. Look at, okay, so you get the big Christmas tree. Then we're going to have the thing that is controversial. Do you say bow or bow? We have some bows. I say bows. These are Christmas tree bows. What do you say? I don't know that I've ever referred to the halls it. with bows of holly. Well, it's bows of holly because that's so the I way say the bows. Is. They're actually just extra leaves. <laughs> more limbs. They're more limbs. So, more limbs. So, this right here, you've got the tree, but you can, and I'm going to show you, you can use these guys to make your tree look fuller. I'll show you that, okay? Also, look, the extension cord. How, what Christmas is, what is Christmas without an extension cord? Come on, or 12, right? How about this, the outlet to plug it into? I just think that is so funny. Um, we've got popcorn on a string. Look at this. Popcorn. And you have... Why you have these different sizes, because the way Sylvia did it, I really should make Sylvia show you all this because she designed this whole thing. But like this strand, you can string it across and then add the two and then add the three, if that makes sense. Um, this that looks like little vampire fangs is not. It is actually two lights. It does the same thing. So you can have three lights and then two lights and then three lights and then two lights like that. Then we've got a cute bow. How many of y'all struggle with bows on the top of your tree? You don't have to worry about it now because we did it for you. Um, a star for the top of your tree. Ribbon if you want to use it anywhere. We actually wanted to have it so we could run it down the tree, you know, have it hanging underneath. Um, this is the trunk. Do you see this? It's the tree trunk. You also have this one, okay? This, um, not this one, this one, which is a, is a, a terracotta pot. That's what I'm calling it, or a pot, a flower pot. We got one, two, three, four packages. The gift bag. I love the gift bag. I thought that was super cute there. Then candy canes in two different directions and the candle. We almost didn't do the candle, but what I love about the candle is a lot of times you, I wish I could have candles on my Christmas tree that didn't, that either weren't tiny, tiny, tiny ones or weren't real ones, right? So you can't have real ones anymore. So there's the little candle and then ornaments. A, a round, a 
um, I call this a vintage shape. I don't really know what it's called. A vintage shape with a pattern and then a vintage open shape. Now, why did Tamitha want this set? Oh, also a tree skirt. Why did she want this set? To color. To color. That's what she wanted it for. Today, I'm just going to stamp in color because of our time frame. But if we sweet talk Tamitha, she might make us a quick little video for Stamptacular. We'd have to sweet talk her. She already threatened me after tagging around because she had to do two there and I already got nasty emails and stuff from her. But <laughs> Tamitha. I got no nasty emails from Tamitha, by the way. I just like to mess with her. But she might show us what she wanted this for. All right, check this out. This has, okay. In the past, I was a person who wanted solid centers because I like a solid center because then I don't, my stamp does not get warped. Okay, because sometimes if you have, if you have these thinner, this is not thin at all, but if you have a thinner stamp, let me show you. If you have something like this, if you're not careful, you can warp it. You see what I'm saying? But I've heard from you guys and y'all don't love it. And you don't love it because you tend to have a heavy hand and you get ink in the middle. So we've taken that section out. So what that means is I need you to be cautious when you're stamping. This is just a good stamping technique. When you put this guy where you're going to stamp it, what I need you to do is let it relax into shape. So don't try to twist and pull it into shape. Let it relax into shape. And I want to give this a little once around. I think it needs to go that way a little bit. And it might need to come down a little bit. It's, it's not going to move and then it's going to like fly. Let's see if that did it. All right. So I've got that where I want to stamp it. I'm going to go ahead and close this over like so and pick that one up. Then I'm going to put it back in. Here's the trick when you're doing this, okay? Put this back into the corner every time. Take the time to do it. You'll be happy that you did. Now what I'm going to do here is bring these guys over. You're like, why did you take them out? Well, the reason I took them out is because I find doing this helps you place your stamps easier. You can really see the edges of them better, like where they're living. And I want to bring that one down just a touch, just a skosh. Just a skosh. All right, let's put this guy in. Who loves doing this? Like, I don't love doing this when I need something in a hurry. I'm going to say that, okay? This is not the kind of card I would make if I needed it in a hurry. But I love doing this when I have time to sit and play. Like when I can turn on a Christmas movie, turn on Christmas music, something like that. And just sit there and play. I love doing this. But I do not love it when I'm in a hurry. So you won't get one of these mass produced from me. I don't know. You might get it mass produced. But you won't get it like same day. This kind of card. Or this kind of project. I see questions and I don't want to not answer. So yes. if you have some. Um, Susan, are you talking about the paper holders behind me? These racks, we do not sell them. You can find those pretty much on Amazon. Amazon, I think it has them. There's a scrapbook store that used to sell them back in the day. Melody got me hooked on them. She's the one who got them, and then I was like, where'd you get those? I think she has an affiliate link for them over on uh, Melody Lane Design. Uh, Melody Lane Inspired. Um, I think that's where that is. Okay, so get this guy lined up. Now what I'm going to do is get my little pieces and put them back in. Um... I do not think there are any more stamp sets that have been sold out that have come in. Everything stamp-wise has come in so and is in the store. So if you place an order now, we will not be putting more stamp sets in to put on sale tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> don't promise that because I, I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know that tomorrow, What is this Thursday? Tonight, yes. Ink Bandits go Ink on Bandits sale. Go on sale tonight. So I do know that. It's that time of year, y'all. Stuff's just going to be flying in. And in order to have it, we have to put it online so we can sell it so we can put more online. You know what I'm saying? So it's just that time of year. I think I lost one note. Here it is. Here it is. And the way um, shipping goes right now, stuff trickles. And we don't know if it's supposed to be coming or not coming or... When it's supposed to be here, it's not here. I just thought about something. I don't want to stamp these in um, in green, so I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Ugh. Okay. I'm just going to ink up the tree to start with and avoid those other dudes. When you're inking, this is so important. I see so many times people inking up their stamp and they rock their stamp 
or they push it down inside and get the ink on the middle part of your stamp, go ahead and make sure your stamp is all the way down on your block too. And keep your ink pads um, parallel. Try very hard to stay parallel, okay? That way you don't end up with ink where you don't want it. Because what happens if you get ink where you don't want it? You get ink where you don't want it. Okay, that literally, if you get it where you don't want it in this stage, it's going to get where you don't want it over here. Okay, all right, so I need my impressible, which, by the way, I think we have a shipment of these coming, did she say this week, next week? Uh, at some point, I can't remember some what week. she said. Some week. What about prompted memories for Gingerbread House? Um, did it come back? Prompted memories came back when we got the first shipment of Christmas stamps. I think it did come back then. But I do know he was ordering a bunch today. I was in his office and he had a list a mile long from Taylor that he was ordering, so. Also, don't overpress. Don't overpress with your, even with your impressible. Just, you know, be gentle there. You don't have to overpress that. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave those packages alone for a minute and do another tree while I've got green. Then I'll just take the, tr the tree off. I won't need it again. I just wanted two. That's something else I do. So I cut two, right? I cut two, but I'm gonna take this guy off and put him in here so that I don't have to reset my stamp up. Now it'll be slightly off. I have found that these guys are not perfect. They are not perfect, but it typically doesn't matter. Um, Deb, if you're having issues with a club member discount not working, um, you'll need to contact um, Amber. You can either email her at info or call the store and she can help help you figure out what's not working. All right, we'll put that aside and let's do these packages. And see, I actually want to do them in different colors. So I kind of I kind of put the cart before the horse here. I really was just trying to show y'all how to do that. So let me get one of these cloths. I'm not going to say rag. See how I'm not going to say it? Wow. See, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to yeah, say cloth. No, no, no saying rag. I'm not going to say, say rag. rag. My grandmother did not like the term rag. We weren't supposed to say it, so I'm going to say cloth. And I'm going to clean this off before I put it up. How proud are y'all? Look at me cleaning this, dude. How so, proud? So, so proud. You then, get a cookie. then I'm gonna sling him over here. No, where you he get a cookie. I'm gonna put him where he goes so we don't pick him up on a shoe sling later. Sling him over on the other side. Of the so floor. we don't pick him up on a shoe. That's that has actually happened. I'm not even. I'm not joking. Yeah, that's not a joke. That's not a joke. All right, let's do the package in black just so we can see it. Walking under stamps gives some character. <laughs> and footprints. Yeah, footprints. Character and footprints. All right, so I got that in. Let's get some black. Here we go. All right. And press That's it. Just precious. It is so cute. The bag is really cute. I actually would paper piece this little bag. I think it would be cute. I know that a lot of people don't love that, but I think that would be cute. I know, like I said, this is not the kind of fast get it out the door card, you know. You would totally paper piece. And love and Amber. Oh my goodness, y'all! Did y'all watch her in the tagging through the tagging around the tree? She cracked me up. I, I'm just gonna tell you, if it sat still, it got fussy cut around Amber. That's <laughs> the truth of the matter. Yes, I had to move. If it sat still, it got fussy cut. She cut out 50 gun drops for one tag. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. When I told her I wanted to do tags, she designed those herself. No one helped Amber. And she didn't have to do all that, but that's what she wanted to do. And I even told her, you know, we can cut it like this. Nope, I got it. That's, she enjoys it. She likes, her and Shannon like that repetitive work. Um, and they don't get to just come back here and play a lot. So she took full advantage of it. She did. Full advantage. Let's do some red. All right. Plaid bags would be so cute, Tam. I don't feel like I'm getting that corner because I'm being shy. We'll see. We'll see if I'm getting it. I don't think I did. I think I was being skimpy, but we can come back and do it again. Uh, 
that was okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Look. These guys picked up. They're like, stop stamping us and not giving us ink. We want to play. We want to play too. I felt that go right there. See where I got ink where I don't want it? Get that off of there or you'll have ink where you don't want it. All right, let's see if I got it that time. I'm trying to stay off of that other one and I'm not sure I'm getting it, but we'll see. Very good. Very good. All right, we'll leave him there. I'm going to take that stamp off. Take that one off. All right, let's get these other ones done really fast. I might do these in the same color to save time. Let's just do those in black. That'll save time. Y'all can play and change them up. But for today, that's what we'll do. And you can also color. Now, I'm not using the right ink for markers, but you could color. You could use color pencils. Make sure he's in the right home. She doesn't, did she, did Tamitha say she'd do it? Um, she said, however, I do not see video making in my future. That's okay. It's not fun. Um, if you don't like it, it's not fun. It becomes a chore. I enjoy it when I have everything lined out, ready to go. <laughs> All right, let's stamp some other pieces so we can play. Let's do from here. I'm going to do it this way so I can get to them easier. They'll be upside down, but that's not going to stress me too much. Uh, Terry, you can still do this without a Cricut. Oh, yeah, you just got a fussy cut. I mean, because I would... Or you can mask off. You can mask with these kinds of things. Yeah, I would fussy cut them. Because I would probably be the one that doesn't want any... I'll be honest with you. Any bubble around it. Y'all can say anything you want to, but here's the truth of the matter. She would be through fussy cutting almost as fast as I can do it with my Cricut. So it's like... It's six to one, half a dozen the other. And yeah. I think I said that right. I think you did. I think I actually said it right. It kind of just, I mean, do it, do what you want to do. Some people just don't have the hand dexterity. Yeah. And that's fine. And some people do. I don't mind fussy cutting at all. But there may come a time in my life where it's not easy for me anymore. And if that's the case, I have an alternative. Yes. Meme is using a microfiber towel to clean her stamps. You can spray a little bit of the squeaky clean on it and wipe, spray it on the towel, not directly to your, well, I mean, you can spray it directly to your stamp. I just don't because I got but, my paper yeah, over here, so. It's easier to control it on the towel of wherever it goes um, and then wipe it. Top tip, use a ruler for your stamps. It doesn't stick to a ruler, it sticks to your fingers. Eraser? Eraser. I don't know even where that came from in my brain. That's not going to be right, but we're going to let it ride. I got, I'm not going to. I'm trying not to get over it and spend too much time on that. I need to do that bow. Some of you have already yawned and clicked off at this point. That's okay. I understand. I understand. See this, is, now I will tell you this, once you get this set up and you do it with my trick of like taking the pieces out and stamping them over and over and over again, then this is a lot faster because then you just go, go, go. I'm just going to stop at that, y'all. I know y'all are getting bored and we'll see how well we did. Just going to stamp it all in black. Just in black. This is the ink pad we cleaned. It's so pretty. It's so pristine. Oh, better put it in there. Or I'll be stamping everything on her. Put it in there correctly, please. There. Let's ink again, just in case. Or I could huff on it. Y'all ever done that when your ink gets dry? I don't know if I've ever even taught you that. Have I ever taught you that? No. You can, like, blow hot air on it to re-saturate your ink. That really doesn't need to. We're going to go with that. Okay. Let's take them off and kind of just play with them a little bit. What stamp sets do you recommend for inside sentiments on a Christmas card? Um, 
this is going to be a cheater answer. We try very hard to have an inside sentiment on every one of our sets. So pretty much ever, I mean, pretty much any of our sets would go, especially with this one. This one did not get an inside sentiment, but that's because it's a Christmas tree and it goes with any Christmas sentiment, like Merry Christmas or any of the serious sentiments. And um, we have a lot of different sentiment sets. Um, mine, you was, the one that I'm get everybody gets this year, there's only one that they're getting this year from me, and that's Mama's um, saying from her play. All right, let's do this for a second. Let's play with some tree accoutrements. Okay, let's bring these down. Now we're getting in my, my stash, my favorite stuff. Let's do some bows. And Sylvia placed these so carefully. I'm just going to play. And we'll just see what we end up with. But she had them placed so beautiful. Also, if you would like to see how Sylvia places things, she does a project example for you on the product page. So you can go to our product page and see a sample of how she laid it out graphically or what she saw in her mind. So you can go and see that there. So look how cute this is. You can stamp this guy anywhere in the tree, look, and make him super full. Isn't this cute? Like you can come to the middle. Look how it just fattens up the tree. Love it. Let's do one of here. Tameth is going to love this part, this tree builder. Just playing. Playing and having fun. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Let's pick up another piece here. How many kids and grandkids went back to school already? We have some around here that are going back to school. Josh is back. He's a teacher, though, so the, the students won't come back right away. But old Joshy boy's back. This is cute. You could do this all. You could add this anywhere and all day. See, I just look at the look at the two. Let me zoom. And I'll wait a second and see if I'm right because I get a, a little bit of a delay like you guys sometimes get. So let me see if I got any closer. Or you could tell me. Am I close? Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. That's so pretty. Isn't it cute? I think I'll do this one this way. See how it just fills it up, just makes it look full? And you can connect them. Like you could just start at a bow and connect. Let's try that. I think that's one thing she did. Let me see if she did that. I don't remember. We'll just go right here and like connect this one. Sort of. We'll just sort of connect it. And then we'll go to the top and sort of connect those. Like here. And then one here. It's cute. Very cute. You can get as full as you want or as thin as you want. The more you add, obviously, the fuller they get. Oh, let's put this one over here. Let's put that one like that. So just play around. Um, Impressables are supposed to be in late next week. Did you ask her? That's what she told us okay. yesterday. I couldn't remember what she said. Yeah, I had I'm to go back and find there. the message. I mean, you can just get it as full as you want to get it. You can just play and play and play and keep going. And you don't have to just use the big ones down here. You can use these small ones because trees are organic and they grow whatever way they want. And I'm really putting too much on to put all the other cutesies on, but I wanted to show you, you could be less or more, less or more. How about we do this? I'm going to flip it over and show you the other pieces just so you can see them. Um, because I want you to see them stamped. This is so cute. This would be cute to make little coloring sheets for your for your guests, you know? Because you could do them in different styles and then have like three little color pencils or crayons uh -huh. or something. That'd be cute. For like the kids' table. That would be cute. That would be so table. cute. They would think you're the coolest. You made us custom color pages. Or they'd just like throw them to the side to eat their brownies or cookies or whatever. Another thing, um, our friend Libby does this at Rustic. Y'all will see this when you come to visit. She makes these images behind um, a, a piece of vinyl and then they can wipe off the markers and go over and over. You could do this with laminating and give them the dry erase and so at Christmas 
they could just, you could pull them out and they could just color them every year. It could be part of the tradition. You could make your own and then that'd be neat. That'd be neat. Thank you. All right, let's try the popcorn because I am dying to pop, um, pop it <laughs> to stamp it. I want to pop some popcorn too. I'm all about that too. I'm all about that popcorn. I will give you all a warning. Do not buy at Sam's Club the pancake flavored. It's not popcorn. It's that puff corn. You know, it's not popcorn, but puffs. Don't buy it. It's amazing. It's amazing. It, I can't even believe how good it is. It's like pancake flavored. It's pancake flavored. And when Ford was here, I said, Ford, you eat pancakes? He's like, yeah. I said, try this. And he tried it. He was like, that is very good. I was like, it is very, very good. He loved it. He ate a bowl of it every afternoon. It's so good. All right, let's look at popcorn. Popcorn across the top of my tree. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Go this way a little bit. Let me see how far the big one goes. This is Paresh. Love this. Love this, love this, love this. Look at the popcorn. Very cute. Oh, that's cute. Let's, let's look at the lights, too. We got to see the lights, right? I don't know that that Doodlebug Winter Wonderland is coming back, because was that last year's paper that we brought in for July? I think. Sometimes we can't always get more than we got unfortunately like once if it's a discontinued or something last year's paper sometimes sometimes um that sassy said i did that for the kids table one year and got chewed out for not doing it for the adult table <laughs> so now she has to do it for all of them that's cute all right let's hang some lights on our tree Oops, I didn't stamp all the way down. I'm not even going to try. We're going to let it ride. Fired. Yep, fired. Stop. I'm going to say what Vince said when y'all fired him yesterday. Can I go home now? <laughs> I actually fired him, didn't I? Yes, she did. And he didn't take it. He didn't leave. He stayed. He was trying to leave, but we wouldn't let him. No, we're not letting him leave. <laughs> He's going to go now? No, you cannot. I totally got my lines off, but there we go. And look, if you want to connect things, just no, grab your little marker and connect you just, it. You just made it the way that lights really are strung on the tree. Exactly. They aren't perfect. That's right, because we don't do perfect. Ever, anywhere, at any time. All the time. I said about everything. I don't do perfect. I had the strangest dream last night about Taylor. I meant to tell her. You know how she told us she didn't like um, pumpkin spice? Yeah. I had a dream I was trying to convince her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. There's a bow for the top of your tree. Here's a skirt for the bottom of your tree. Here's the little pot if you want to put it in the pot. And something that was really cute is Sylvia did it with the trunk. Let me see if I can kind of show. You see the trunk here? So let the trunk show. See how she's got it so it stamps just right? Let the trunk show and then go into the pot. It is so cute to have it in that tiny little pot. So cute. Um, there's that. There's presents that can go under and around and on. If you want them on, put them on. That song says presents on the tree. I don't know why, but it does. And then, look, ointments. We always say ointments. My mother said it, and it's our habit. You can hang little ointments on the tree. So fun. This is going to be a fun one for you guys. And listen, I'm not kidding. This was Tamitha's brainchild. She wanted, she's a colorer, colorist, and she wanted things to color. That's going to be so cute. So coyote. Pamela Noonan. Yeah. Thank you. I have the writing on to know what you all are saying as I'm deaf. Oh, Thanks that's again. awesome. That's pretty cool. Pamela, my dad is also deaf. He won't, he won't admit to that because he can read lips. But I can prove it. <laughs> what pen were you using? That is the Memento um, dual marker. It comes with the nib on one end 
and then it comes with the brush on the other. And this is the one that if we were fussy cutting, and since I didn't really fussy cut today, you don't necessarily do this, but if I were fussy cutting and I'm kind of not doing a perfect fussy cut, you run this nib around the edge and it cleans up any of those spots. It just colors it black over here and you run this around. And there's a reason you do it this way. Make sure when you're doing this that you are drawing from the back of the image because if you slip, you slip to the front. Do you see? I mean, you slip to the back. Do you see that? But if you do this from the front and you slip, it goes on the front. So work from the back so you can slip to the back. But yeah, I love this little guy. It's double-ended. You might, I will tell you this, I find this end, because this nib end is a rollerball end, it really is best to store this one down. Sometimes I don't have that big of a deal with that, especially with the felt tip, because these are going to suck ink anyway, because they're felt, they're going to pull it out. But this one being a rollerball, it can kind of rest in there. So either store it for sure with that down or store it flat. And I think flat's the better option for this one, because both of those ends need to work. All right. Let's, did you get the um, fundraiser? I wanted to show that. I can't get multiples to come up and I don't know what do you mean what by multiples? Link. Like he has lots of different things he showed I saw it on it. Instagram for sure. Do you follow him on Instagram? Because we can show it there. If you go to there, um, I wish I could just open like, my face. I found account. that one. Let me see. That one on Instagram. Woo, close. Okay, here's, here's, let's talk about it really fast. So what is Cards for Kids? You guys need to know that we adore Cards for Kids. This is an organization that asks you, and yes, you can get involved, to make cards and send to them, and they put them in the hands of children, veterans, uh, disabled veterans, um, domestic abuse victims. They have lots of different outlets to share cards with. And the reason I line up with them is because they make it, they make an incentive out of the hospitals and the facilities getting the cards to the patient. What I mean by that is, if the facilities will take photos of them passing out the, pro the cards to the people, they can earn things like gaming systems, entertainment systems, things like that. And I think recently, I know our entertainment system that we did got delivered to a home in Alabama, to a, a children's home in Alabama, a girl's home. Um, so you can, help with the entertainment system you can do a cash donation you can do any of that but what these fundraisers do that they try to do is fund them kind of all year long they're a nonprofit, and um, at this point i think they have one one staff member i don't even know if they have a fully paid staff member at this point they do all the work but here's the deal i'm going to read this to you okay please support us by purchasing some bags of double is it double good double good popcorn this week you can either enter the following url which we'll put in the link. I'll send this to Tamith and she can put it in the description. Or click the link in our bio. If you're on Instagram, the link will be in their bio. Kim got the link. Thank you. There it is right there. We do our best to make sure that our fundraising efforts reward everyone involved. By purchasing gourmet popcorn, you'll get quality popcorn and we'll get 50% of the sales. Your contributions will help us send cards, entertainment systems, and more to people who need encouragement across the globe. Now, Anytime we can do a fundraiser where you get something that you would want and they get 50% and you don't have to do anything, isn't that amazing? <coughs> and this popcorn is really good. And I'm going to see if I can go to the popcorn. I'm going to pull this away because I don't want to click on something that I shouldn't. Um, I did find that. Can you click on one of their links to get to that? Um, no, did I not bring my water in here? What did I do? Am I losing it? I'm losing it. There's a... Well, she lied to me, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I clicked on a different email <laughs> earlier. Give her a second to find the thing, because I want to open it and show you all the popcorn. You already ordered yours. Thank you so much. I do want to say this. Be sure you are clicking on whatever link they're sharing. Don't go to the website alone, because I haven't been to the website to see if they have, like, a standalone for them. But if you don't click on their link, they might not get credit. And you want to make sure they know you're buying it because of them. She found Don't it and closed the it. There's a okay. bunch of different. Okay, here's some options. They've got, um, oh, those are pictures. Yeah. Is that what shows. you're telling me? Oh, look. Yeah. Okay. So they've got Butter Believe It, Cinnamon, I mean, Caramel Diem. Like, is that like Carpe Diem, but Caramel Diem? Yeah. Seize the Caramel? No, Diem is Day. 
right? Yeah, Caramel yeah, day. Yeah. Okay, so Ola Pena, let me read the, what the, let me tell y'all what they say, because that's what y'all want to know. So like this one, ready for an episode of salted creamy crunch? This one says dripping brown sugar, caramel, and snuggles. Blake loved that one. <laughs> Ola Pino? Did I say that anywhere near right? Probably not. A blaze. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Jala. Jalapeno. How funny. A blaze of spicy perfection with a kick that won't quit. In queso fire. I got it. I got it <laughs> that time. you get it. This creamy cheddar garlic. Now I got to go back and look at caramel diem. Okay. In um, this creamy cheddar, cheddar garlic onion and jalapeno recipe is built for the bold. I love jalapeno popcorn. Little kettle that could. Lightly sweet and lightly and little salty. Perfectly crisp. My main cheese. Got it. Drenched in a gooey velvety blanket of cheesy goodness. And then this one is Sergeant Salt and Pepper. That's funny. Um, cracked black pepper and sea salt atop crunchy kernels. Who's hungry? That These look one right great. There. Um, white cheddar go better. White cheddar go better. White cheddar go better. What is that? Is that just the name? Uh, Zesty creamy white cheddar with clouds of hot popped corn. There's a three bag set. It it has butter believe it, caramel diem, and white cheddar go getter. Oh, white cheddar go, go getter. getter. If I could read, these would be so cute. Um, <laughs> I was going right along with you. There's a six-bag combo, which is Butter Believe It, Caramel Diem, In Queso Fire, Little Kettle That Could, My Main Cheese, and White Cheddar Go-Getter. So there's those. Let me see if I can find the other pictures, if there's different ones. Um, those are the same. These could all be the same. They could. Oh, they have different headers. That's what it is. They have different headers. All right, so this, the um, fundraiser starts... Let me blow this up so you can see this. The fundraiser starts 8-2, which was Tuesday at 1 p.m., and goes through 8-6 with this Saturday. i got to go place an order. I'm going to order all of them. I know me. <coughs> I'm going to order all of them because y'all will eat them and Vince will eat them. It'll get gone. All right, so please support them if you can. I know not everyone can, but if you can. I don't know how much they are. I didn't look. Somebody probably already saw. You might can find... There's got to be a link to click to their website. Range in price. I know when I ordered, Lucy did this as a fundraiser, and I ordered from her. All right. When we buy the stamps, how do we get the die cuts? The SVGs are free. There is a link on our website. You just can you can go to, and Tamitha put the link here for you, but you can go to our website where it says blog. Just hover over that word, and there'll be a drop down. And that drop down will tell you free SVGs. You can click there or you can get them from the, um, they're linked on the product page too, aren't they? Yeah, I'm pretty Yeah, sure I think now. they're linked on the product page when you purchase a stamp set. Um, and you can also get them from maymaymadeit.info.com. That, that is our standalone blog. So you can get it from there too. At one point in time, we were going to move our blog from our store just to its standalone place and that may come later T uh, taylor and i were talking today about doing some some website cleanup and um kind of some stuff she's got in mind which i like i love having taylor around because she has those ideas so we're gonna we're gonna look at that okay one of each sounds good all right any other questions do we get all the questions yes um the svgs are on the product page itself okay under the little description so if you purchase like oh christmas tree on that product page, you can download the SVG from there. That's really convenient. Where can we find your tutorial for the Joy Machine? If you, the best way to find tutorials on my channel is if you will, like if you open YouTube and you type in May May Made It, and then at the top of the page, there'll be my face in a circle and the name of my channel beside it. Click on that and it takes you to my channel dashboard. And when you're there, in the top there's a search bar and you can type in Cricut Joy or whatever and it'll pull up what I've done about those things. It'll, if you type in SVG, it'll pull up that. Even more than that, you can go to YouTube and type in May May SVG. And anything that's made by me with an SVG in the title or the description will pop up. Um, Cindy has a question. Peanuts or cashews? Me, cashews. Me, peanuts. Mm -hmm. Vinny, peanuts. Just where Simpson. Oh, thank you. Yes, whoever got us hooked on those salt and black pepper peanuts, my gosh. He has ordered. 
I, we didn't even tell them what he did. That was hilarious. Yeah, I can't even remember who sent it to us, but they sent us that set, gift set of peanuts, and they were little tins about that big around, probably about this tall, and there were three different varieties in it. One of them was sea salt and black pepper, and we like killed that can. Um, and Vince went on and ordered more, and he thought he was ordering this big by this big. He ordered this big by this big. Put it on faces like so they can see. 20 tens. He, not not 20 tens. It was His, six tens. It was six tens. He was like, well, that explains why it was so expensive. I thought, wow, that that viewer really loved us because they spent a fortune on these nuts. But he bought like the... He bought the big ones. They're one. massive. They're so good. Guess I what? like wound up buying a tin from him after they're he gone. realized his funny. He sold some, gave some away, and then ate a whole tin himself. I don't oh, do yeah. peanuts. Our, pan is, our tin is still in the fridge eating on it randomly. Um, there was a question Charlotte yes, asked. the Virginia peanuts. So what did Charlotte, Charlotte asked? Charlotte, where'd you go, Charlotte? Um, SVGs are so confusing for people. Let, let me do a little quick SVG explanation since we've been talking about them. And this might help people that are watching for later. Because we get a lot of questions about SVGs. An SVG is just the type of file. In order for us to give you a file that will stay the size it needs to stay and cut what it needs to cut when you get it, we have to use an SVG. So that's just the file. The other part about the SVG is that your machines can read it. So your Maker, your Explore, your Explore Air, your Silhouette, your Brother Scan and Cut, your Paxel, your, um, I'm trying to think of all the obscure machines out there. Any machine, uh, any electronic cutting machine can read an SVG. You're, if you have a machine that doesn't read an SVG, it's, it's probably an older machine, okay? Even some of our older machines could read SVG. So the SVG itself is just a file that we create that stays the right size when you get it to cut out the shapes that we have on the stamp sets. So you get the file and I've made mine so easy because anytime I tell you download something, people don't like that. They don't understand how the downloads work. I get it. There was a time I didn't understand downloads. So for ours, what you do when you go to our website, you click on them and a picture will pop up on your computer. You right click it and save it. It will save with the title, everything for you. When you go find it on your computer, you will see the image. You won't just see a, a floppy disk or anything. You'll see the image, okay? And then when you go to Cricut or whatever your software is, you just upload that SVG. That's all you have to do. Once you load it into your software, it's grouped together. You can ungroup it, like if you only wanted to do Christmas trees. Maybe you're going to make some tags and you wanted to be Christmas tree shaped, which this is perfect for that. Just go in there, ungroup it, turn turn everything off or delete everything except the tree, whatever you want to do, and then just cut the tree. It just makes it, you can do anything you want with the SVGs. You actually can like cut them and weld them and do all kinds of stuff with them. They're your cuttable file that comes free with the stamp set. I wish I could make that easier for people to understand, but the it, it's confusing because it sounds like an SVG is some special thing, but it's it's literally this. It's like PDF, PNG, JPEG, SVG, DPS, EPS, like it's, that's just an extension of the file to give the file its properties is all that is. And I know it's confusing, but it's, it's just confusing. And it just stands for scalable vector graphic. That means we can scale it whatever size we want without losing pixels. The pixels stay nice and smooth. And it also means we can lock it into place so when you get it, it just works the right size. Thank you, Cheryl. I think our SVGs are super easy. I have worked with companies before where you have to download them to your computer and then even like unzip them. I didn't want to do any of that for you guys. It's just not that deep. You know what I'm saying? That's what Joe would say. It's not that deep. Whenever I'm trying to tell him stuff, he'll go, it's, it's not, not that, that deep. deep. It's not. You don't have to do all that. You can just right click the image. It, and, and when you do open the image on my website, they're all together. Like um, it's one image. So you right click it and it will save as an SVG for you. That's all you got to do. Um, and I do have videos showing you that, walking you through that process step by step. Um, Susan, I'm going to tell you the best thing to do if you're thinking about a machine is please watch my latest video, which I'm going to let Tam with the link for you because I, I promise you, there are so many things you need to consider before purchasing it that I could tell you the one I use the most often and it might not be the one for you. You really do need to watch that video. It will help you make a very informed, educated decision, and you will not be sad because you'll know what to do. And, and I would tell you now, but it is so much more than just a 
here you go. Matter of fact, this is something funny. Somebody commented um, <laughs> um, on that video. They said, so basically, don't buy a machine if you don't want to learn anything. And they were like, this, this video could have been two minutes. And I was like, thanks for the summary. Cause, but no, that's not what you need to know. You need to know everything I'm telling you. You need to know about the software, the machine, the computer, the Wi-Fi. You need to know all of that information that I talk about in that video. More questions real quick? Um, Jody said if my file is 3.9 by 5.9, is that okay or do I need to make it a 4 by 6? You don't need to edit the size. The reason it will be bigger than your 4 by 6 is because we fill our stamp set so full on the 4 by 6. I've told y'all before to my own detriment, I fill them up really, really full. So whenever she makes an SVG, it has to be a line slightly larger than your stamp. So when they come into your file, it will fool you. You'd be like, oh, this is too big. It's not. It's going to cut larger than the stamp set itself. So when they come in in the shape of the stamp set or all put together, it will, it will be larger, but it will cut correctly. Because, like, if you notice when I was doing mine, you see how it has um, the little edge around it. It's not exactly the size, which is one reason people fussy cut, because with a die cut, it's a little larger than the image. Um, but with fussy cutting, you get right to it. Sherilyn's got a good question. I'm going to answer it. If, if I feel like I've answered these questions before, I may not cover them today because we really do have to go. We've got to go to the venue. But I will answer this one really quick. I do not want you to purchase these thinking you're going to get a cut file that cuts out the stamp. It's going to cut out the outline. So did you see when I was stamping today, I had the outline of the gift bag and then I stamped the actual gift bag on it. So you're not, you're not going to get like all the little detail. You're not going to be able to cut out a gift bag. You're just going to get this blank shape. It's a die. If you bought a die set, that's what an SVG is. It's just digital, so you don't have to pay $30 for a die set because I just cannot sell my stamp sets and then the dies that go with them, it's just too expensive when I can do these for free. When you can buy one machine for $200, I know that sounds like a lot, but you buy five dies and you're pretty close. I don't do math well, so that's not accurate. But anyway... <laughs> I just feel like if you had a machine and very minimal, uh, minimal expertise, you can cut all of our all of these out like that. All right, we're gonna have to close out. Like I said, we're going to the venue today. We're really excited. I may put some sneaky pictures up. Like if you see some beautiful views, it's just sneaky pictures of that. Um, sneaky pictures, and um, it's gorgeous. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Um, we will show you at some point in time. It may not be till closer to the event because we we literally don't get in again after this. This is it for us. So um, we're excited about that, but we're going to have prayer together before we go. And I want to remind you of this. If you have a prayer request, a specific need you want us praying for, head to our Facebook called Created in Christ. Um, that's always linked in the description on my videos as well. And you can put your prayer request there. And there are thousands of prayer warriors over there that will take that and pray for you. And it's so cool to read because one thing I really like is our, our, um, our posters our community are really doing well about asking for the prayer request and then giving an update when they can because y'all don't know we get invested in your lives when we hear what you're what's happening you know if we hear something really that we need that we desperately need to pray for in that moment it's so nice to get those updates later and I'm seeing that happening a lot and I really really appreciate I really appreciate that Jerry to Jer Joe Terry Terry Joe <laughs> Joe Terry says do y'all ever sleep no we do not sleep we do not sleep all right, let's have prayer. God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the blessing that is this time we get to spend with these viewers. You know how much they mean to us, God. And I just pray that something we said or did today, some laugh or some giggle, would give them a brightness to their day. God, thank you for what they mean to us. And every person has a need. God, you know that need. You know what's in their heart, what they're going through. And I just ask today, God, that you'll give them a special touch. Help them to feel you in a real way know you close in their heart and know that you have plans for them. You know what you have for their future and it's to give them a hope, God. And I thank you so much for hope. God, I just ask that you be with us through uh, this holiday season we have coming up. It's a lot, but God, I believe that you're a part of it and that you're guiding us and directing us. And I'm excited for those who are going to get to attend all our events online and in person. And God, I just pray that you'll um, help this go smooth for everyone so that we can just have a wonderful season that doesn't get full of distractions, but is full of you and what the real season is about and the baby that came to save the world. God, thank you so much for today. Um, again, we just thank you for the blessing that is Jesus. And um, I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 
All right, guys, we love you very much. We really do. I hope you enjoyed that uh, today, and I hope you enjoy the new stamp set. Don't forget, tonight, Ink Bandits go live. There's a video going up to show you all about the insides and outs of the um, Ink Bandit, and they'll be available for purchase after 6 o'clock tonight. And tomorrow morning, tickets for the um, event go on sale, for the, on, for the in-person event go on sale. And um, if you have questions, Here's what I'm going to tell you. Info at maymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaymaym